Naming things is always a topic fraught with difficulty. There are meanings and history behind pretty much any name, good, bad and ugly. One of the most recent examples of this in Melbourne was the renaming of Spencer Street Station to Southern Cross in the mid-2000s. The station was originally opened in 1859 as a second major city terminus, just five years after Flinders Street. It was called Spencer Street Station after, well, its location on Spencer Street, in the western end of the CBD. Over 140 years later, after Melbourne was awarded the rights to host the 2006 Commonwealth Games, a major redevelopment was announced by the state government. This took four years between 2002 and 2006, and mainly consisted of building a new wavy roof, a coach interchange and some shops. The redesign was, at best, a mixed success, but perhaps that's a topic for another day. What's of interest to us in this video is that as the redevelopment was nearing completion, the State Transport Authority, then called MetLink, officially renamed the station from Spencer Street to Southern Cross. This required an Act of Parliament, the Transport Legislation Further Miscellaneous Amendments Bill, which was hotly debated both in the press and by honourable members. Some argued that changing the name would be confusing and unnecessarily alter a historic place. But the government claimed that it had in fact been renamed before. The Transport Minister at the time, Peter Batchelor, said that its first name was Batman's Hill Station after the locality, and that the Southern Cross Station project was just, quote, continuing the proud tradition of changing its name. Others argued that this would break the naming conventions of other stations named after their location, for example, being on a major road or street. To this, the government rebutted that, as most people would be accessing it through a new entrance on Collins Street, keeping it named as Spencer Street would just create more confusion. In the end, these all became moot points, as the bill passed and the grand reopening was conducted on the 13th of December 2005. Despite it being called Southern Cross Station today, it still sparks debate. You may occasionally still hear some people refer to it as Spencer Street, no doubt continuing their protest against this change. Interestingly though, both V-Line and Metro Trains still technically call it by the old name. If you look at their working timetable or some other technical documents, you will see the station codes SPE and SSS respectively, both derived from Spencer Street Station. There are not many recent examples of renamed stations in Melbourne, and most proposals end up failing to proceed. For example, the Metro Tunnel's latest attempt to change North Melbourne Station to West Melbourne. This was announced in November 2017. The main reason given was that the existing North Melbourne Station is actually located in West Melbourne, and the new Arden Station, part of the Metro Tunnel, was being built within the boundaries of North Melbourne. However, in January 2020, this decision was reversed. This was because emergency services raised concerns about confusion with identifying the location of incidents, and because renaming North Melbourne would require thousands of signals, labels, signs and other existing transport infrastructure to be replaced or changed with the new name. So despite all this fuss, it's highly likely that we will keep seeing attempts to rename stations like this again. Whether they succeed or not is a different story. There are also many other examples of Melbourne stations changing their name, too many to list them all here. These include Nunna Wadding's old name of Tunstall, Jewel's old name of South Brunswick, and Melbourne Central's old name of Museum. No doubt many of these will come up in future videos. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date on future videos. I hope you enjoyed this and see you next time.